Hang on. That was a really big fat fish and it was glowing. Is he still out there? He was probably way out of range. Oh, down I go. Simple magic staff times two. They just give me stabs? Alaric and I met where the thorns were the thickest. He presented me with the oddest magical staff I've ever witnessed. But looks can be deceiving. Because the thorns began receding. The jumbles should be afraid of my new power. Good natured Azorians no, need no longer cower. Hang on. Has it been rhyming this entire time? Because I'll start reading it all sing songy. But yeah, Disney Dreamlight Valley did seem like too much grinding. So. Like, in the latest update, there were some Oogie Boogie pajamas, and they looked amazing. Like, I would kill for those pajamas in real life. Like an Oogie Boogie onesie. A glow-in-the-dark onesie, no less. Looks amazing, right? And so... Knowing kind of how Disney Dreamlight Valley works, I was like, can I even get that for free? And the answer is yes. And then my next question was, how easily can I get that for free? And with the worst luck possible, it would take me 40 days of grinding to get the Oogie Boogie pajamas. And I'm like, that's a lot of time to spend for for exactly one item. Like, the game looks good. But... I think Fay Farm probably gives you a lot more... bang for your buck. You stop playing before the Stitch update? Probably... probably for the best. Okay, let's see. I need planters. Two. Three, four. I need silt. So there's silt in the dirt piles around here. So I never started it. Like, I try... Try not to get into something... Uh, so... Grindy and repetitive. No matter how cute it looks. I say that as I dig a hundred piles of dirt in this game. But it's just the cash shops, like... You have to incentivize people to buy things, so you have to make it really annoying to get the things you want to have. And so knowing the game has to be designed in that way. You really did enjoy Disney Dreamlight Valley? That's fair. Like, it... It does look like it would be fun. But if I was gonna go that route, I probably... I'm a little late to the party, but... I think I'd rather go... Uh, Animal Crossing.
Beast and Bell are compelling you to come back. That's fair. They are cool. I heard people are upset with how Bell looks. Like they did her model wrong or something. Have I heard of Sunhaven? Yes, I have. I played a bunch of that. That was really good. Yeah, Sunhaven was delightful. I was playing that with my friends until uh, they went and had babies. And now I very rarely get time to play with them. Every other Thursday night we can play a little Baldur's Gate. That's what we get. You there. Which one of you is the turnip vendor? Give me 11 more turnips. Not 48. 11. Ah, adulting. That's right. I mean, that's... That's what you get when your... Uh, your spouse is part of the gaming squad. Like, all of a sudden, this whole squad's disrupted. You can't, like, organize, like, okay... This is your gaming night. This is my gaming night. You have one 15-year-old. You play first-person shooters. Nice. My children are, are a little... Uh, overly addicted, well, my, my oldest, he's seven. He's a little overly addicted to, uh, screen time and games and anything. So I, I've been trying to avoid it until he can, like, get in control. Like, I, I played with zero restrictions. When I was a kid, I was raised entirely by video games. And I kind of don't want that for him. I feel like he could develop some social skills. Thanks again for taking care of those thorns. You're a natural. I don't even remember doing it. It was in my sleep. Speaking of which, we should probably check this out. Oh, out. He gets a tad loud, so we don't play too much. Yeah, bear. Now I can smack thorns. That opens up all sorts of things. What is this? Ugh. My old man back. Can't shovel hard dirt. So do you have a favorite FPS that you play? There are some some good family ones I'd recommend. Like Deep Rock Galactic. A little Vermintide is always good. 
Left for dead. Not fair. I wish I could do the same. We gone past that now. He has his own PC. You play Valorant. That's fair. At some point, I got scared of games like uh, like Valorant. Like, I'm always worried I, I'm letting the team down. Because I can't play religiously. Give the time, it, the game, the time it deserves to be good at it. It's the same reason I don't play League of Legends. I'm like, everyone's been playing for hundreds of years now. Ooh, a rug. What's up here? Ooh, wood plank path. Happy to have that one. You only play five stack with your friends. And you're always the worst player, so they you know the cons. Yeah. That's what I need. I need a regular squad. Well, I had a regular squad. Again, with the babies. One day, though. In about a year when the baby's sleeping through the night. So let's see, new quest available. Rita at the docks. League stresses you? Yeah. I... I get that. Babies do be precious. I miss those times. Same. Honestly, the the second... My second child... I don't remember her being a baby like at all. Like, the second baby is kind of weird. You... Uh, you don't have the same adrenaline that you did for the first time. Because you know the baby's going to survive no matter what. And so... Uh, you, every time you're not holding a baby, you're just asleep. Ah. The first baby, you're, you would like survive on like three hours of sleep and feel great. It was like being caffeinated 24 seven. Those thorns gone, you might be able to find new areas to explore. Already have. Tell me, Sugarheart, have you gotten to know your Azorian neighbors better? You haven't? I could give you some tips. I'm a bit of an expert. Reach friendship status one. I can do that. Uh -huh. Little hard eyes. Wonderful. Well, a good relationship is like tasty soup. It takes many ingredients, patience, times, and stirring things up. The last one might sound a bit like it not sound like it belongs, but trust me, it does. Oh. Now relationships generally come in two flavors, friendships and romances. Oh. To build a friendship, try spending time with people. They love having chats. Your friendship will develop, develop and eventually some people will even want to become your bestie. You can have as many best friends as you like. Market vendors are generally too busy with their crafts to maintain any real relationships, but there are plenty of other people on the island to get close to. Some special residents of Azoria are looking for romance. You can chat with them, help them with gifts, and eventually go on dates. One day, if you play your cards right, you could even get married. 
Now that you have to, of course, you decide if you want relationships or not. Why don't you go out there and make a friend? And you come back and tell me all about them. Hi. Have you ever spent any time talking with the trees? If you listen close enough, you'll find they've got a lot to say. Chat. Never seen anything like the that thorns like that before. And I've seen my fair share of thorns. That guy wants a brown snail? I could find a brown snail. Yeah. The main thing I miss about babies is just holding them. Like every now and then you you can kind of like feel the 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 exact weight of a tiny baby. The little finger around your finger, yeah. All oh, the tiny little hand grasps. Hi. <laughs> hey, Millie. Will you be my friend, Millie? Ooh, clothes. Yeah, I'll take a casual adventure outfit. Although, a rancher skirt looks breezy. You're going to Japan next year? His first international trip and his eight, 16th birthday. So it's pretty exciting right now. That's, that's really cool. Uh, my brother actually lives in Japan. So if you meet a Sensei Sugar Heart, uh, say hi. Say you've been watching his little brother's stream. Can I put a customization mirror? I wonder. You will def say hi. Perfect. Last I heard he was in Tokyo somewhere. I think that's a fairly small town. Should be able to find him no problem. So many alerts. Wow, you can grow a lot of different crops. Right, it's Tokyo is rough. You need to book separate rooms. That does sound rough. There, got rid of all the alerts. Oh, except for my quest alert. Do you like me? Yes or no? Ah! <gasps> What's this? Cobblestone. Nice. the energy let me out
Come on. Surely I can get out. There we go. Because he is 16, I thought he might enjoy his own personal space. That's... that's fair. Whew. I have no idea how I'm going to handle my my children getting into their teenage years. Right now, like, seven and five, they're... They're adorable. Like, we snuggle on the couch. And they can both sit on my lap without crushing me. Six is your favorite? Oh my gosh, they're... They are so cool. My son's gotten really into reading. My daughter's really into art. Your son used to be so obsessed with dinosaurs, so we did all things dino. Now he's into cars. That's an expensive thing to get into. My son changes obsessions. Like, eventually it's gonna be video games. Like, I can feel it, but... Still trying to open his worldview to other things in the meantime. He has a weird obsession with Egypt. Like, nothing wrong with that. Like, he... He likes to tell strangers interesting facts about pharaohs and stuff. He'll be like, did you know King Tut used to walk with a cane? He was only nine. <laughs> ah, my children are delightful. Sometime they'll wake up. And you'll be able to hear them. They'll pop up on stream. They are totes adorbs. I mean, I, I really couldn't be happier with, with my kids. I know, like, it's... It's a thing. Sweet, I got the fence before I turned in. 